and expressing it like the eyes are expressing your life experiences and it shows in the eyes how you are, that you're connected with your presence, there's a sparkle, there's a life in it, there's a spirit in it, or it is searching so far away because God must be somewhere up there and because I can't find him in here, so I have to go searching for him, searching for him. Because I'm searching, the further I go, the further he seems to be, because I've gone further away from where he is, because he's sitting right here, and when you're going to come home and experience me, I'm right here. Where are you going? <laughs> and suddenly come here, your eyes brighten up. Oh! Ah, <sighs> it's so much better. So come home. And then your eyes light up. As your eyes light up, you see more than you have seen, because the mind tries to stop you because it has to calculate, it remembers all the things and has to see you through its past. How can the past, how can you see yourself through the past? The past is leaving here. Oh, but I have to imagine what may happen if this didn't happen, because I remember it happened and now if it doesn't happen, what's going to happen? So the imagination comes in and you've got 25 different things now and you only have one thing because the present is only the now one thing. It doesn't have the things that are past and there and gone. It doesn't have the possibilities that may happen. It only has you. So the more you have the presence of mind, the more you get used to and enjoy more of what the present is offering you because you're there to receive it. But if your mind is absent, it gives it to you and you're elsewhere and you lost it. And it's gone. You can't pick it up again because it's already gone. So you learn your presence of your body. Be in your body. Feel it. So we look at the face, then we look at your whole body. Two days, we examine everything, right from your toes, the structure of your bones, how you stand, how you walk, how you move, how you carry your whole body, every aspect of yourself, how you fleshed it out, have it a, had a, a good balance in your body, or you've created a fight pattern, or you have a flight pattern, where I have no body, so I have no feelings, no issues, you have nothing to feel with anyway, so I have no issues because it's a flight pattern, I don't want to know about it, so I leave my body. So, whatever it is, the fact is, the issues are still there, that's why you're running away, or the issues are still there, that's why you blocked it and covered it up. The moment you start dealing with it, thank you for coming, for cleaning out these cupboards, because you've been stuffing it up for so long, I've got so much housework, just because I don't want to face my house when I go out shopping, and that's why all the shopping centers are constantly full, because you're shopping for new things and I don't have to do the housework. I'm so busy doing all the shopping. So we're always shopping out there, and every shopping center that we build is always full. The car parks are so difficult to get into because everybody goes shopping. I said, My God, didn't anyone do any work at home? <laughs> oh, they're too busy shopping. <laughs> and that's what we're doing with ourselves. And the important thing is we're shopping outside, it costs us so much. That it costs us so much that we work even harder to pay for the shopping. And therefore, I have no time to do my housework. So, why not just stay in this home and enjoy it and feel at home with yourself, it will cost you much less because you are looking after your own self-maintenance and then you have to do less work to maintain it, it will cost you less and you enjoy that place which belongs to you and then you can take it anywhere and you are always at home. So I have been learning this a long time to be at home with myself. So wherever country I go to, whether they're Japanese, Chinese, Hungarian, and I don't speak one word of their language, I can still read their face and read their body, because the face, emotions, body doesn't need culture, doesn't need language, doesn't need a country, doesn't need a color or creed, it's just our human being having an experience. So if you look at that experience, no matter what language you speak, your body will already tell you how you're experiencing you if you learn how to study that and how each part of your body is speaking a language of which is universal in any country. Because it's creation. Because it's life. And it's our own individual how wonderfully we create with our own creativity that's so unique that it's not can be written in a book, it can't be studied in a book, it has to be studied in the structure of how energy works. So we teach you how energy works in a very focused and disciplined way by looking every part of your body through structure and performance. Performance is per your form. And when you live that form in balance, 
you experience doubts. When you lift that form in a relaxed way, you allow the energy to flow and you perform better. And as you perform better, you start to add new things to your life and you see there are more possibilities than I thought. So this is the way we go. And after two days of the body, looking at the whole body and the structure of the body and seeing how you can look at it and change and add new dimension to your consciousness of being aware of what you need to look at. Then we look at the hands because the hands are the expressor of your feelings. It has a mind of its own. It has feelings in many different ways of sending this energy of your body mind through here, touching it with this little DVD players by feeling, sensing with the different feelings, different legs of the body, different digits, different calculations, different depth and dimension that it feels. It starts to send that message here and then you too, when you express yourself, you touch it with that consciousness and people feel your messages of how you're feeling within you. So they are the most delicate instruments of experience of expression of your being and creation of who you are. Then we look at the, the emotional anatomy. So you're allowed to take this course in doing the basis alone or doing the body analysis alone or doing the hands alone depending on the capacity you have or the time you have to attend it. But then when you go to the emotional anatomy, you need to be able to have understood all three steps in the three modules to be able to get the idea of how the emotional anatomy works and when you understand that then we actually put you on the massage table and show you all the trigger points where and how our different energy centers or chakras hold them and by teaching you the trigger points you learn to release that because they are triggers that are sending from the chakra sending messages out through muscle structure resistance and tension and we teach you how to release that and once you learn that, on the final day, we have a practitioner certification because then you practice on someone from outside the class and we observe and give you an assessment on that. You write a report in every section. You write a report of the other person. So you will read her face, you will read your face in the workshop. You write a report. You assess from the class and the whole class listens. They learn from you. You learn from having read someone else and someone else reading you. We do the same thing in the hands, same thing in the body analysis, which takes two days because it's far more complex, that's where it's happening. And then you get more confidence when you learn to do this with someone outside the class. They don't know anything about it, and you get so wonderfully reassured that, wow, in that one week I have learned so much that I can make a difference in someone's life just by showing them how wonderful and how much I've learned just by learning to observe them. Because there's one key, there's one thing that we all yearn for from our very birth. What's that? To be understood, to be nurtured, to be loved, to feel safe. So our purpose is to create a, an atmosphere that is nurturing, that is caring, that's understanding. And it's only those who really care to grow come. Those who really want to learn and release their own feelings and be more free in their body that wants to experience more of them that they know is there but something through something that may have happened long time ago or I've been repeating so many times seem to restrict me. They just want freedom. But I can only do that. I feel safe. I feel understood. And it's okay. And that's what we do in the little way, the 10 minutes that you get with us at the show. We show you how you can feel safe, how you feel understood, how we have compassion. We look at you in the eyes with an open heart, no judgment, and just say what we see. And so beautiful. For me, it's the most beautiful experience to look into another soul and feel so free to be truthful in myself, to say whatever I say. And whatever you accept or don't accept, that's okay, but I know I've been truthful in me and honest and given whatever I know. And when you trust yourself by that, your own joy in your life flows. And that person would have a reaction because they know you've been sincere in yourself because if you look eye to eye and never take your eyes off that person, they know how worthy they are that for you can have 100% of my attention because you're worth 100%. And 